Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another video. This one is a request from Mr. David McFadden, very valued supporter of my channel. And uh, he offered up a suggestion for a video and that is top 10 Black Series head sculpts. Um, so I've been meaning to put this one together for a couple of weeks now and finally getting the time to do so. And this is actually harder than I thought it, thought it was going to be. So. These aren't the definitive top 10. I'm not telling you these are the top 10. These are my favorite 10 uh, head sculpts from the Black Series line. I've tried to balance a little bit with some aliens, some humans. Um, there aren't many troopers. There aren't any troopers. Um, just because they're troopers. Um, they don't really give off the artistic side of a, a, a human or an alien character. So I've decided to go with my favorite top 10. And... Um, I've actually come up with 11, so <laughs> we're going to give one an honourable mention, and then we'll go into the top 10. So the first one we're going to look at is Yoda from the Dagobah 2-pack that came with Luke. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at it. It's it's pretty damn amazing. Um, yeah, just... He is really little, and he was packed in more of an accessory than an extra figure so uh, but I guess it could count um, because I am going by head sculpts and not necessarily what they are as figures so <clears throat> and the fact that he came with a second head sculpt which is equally as good um, is fantastic but yeah this was a big improvement of the initial release and um, yeah it would have almost almost scraped into my top 10 so I've gone and giving him an honourable mention, I just couldn't leave him aside. So let's move him back there. And get him to stand, of course. Nope, that's alright. So coming at number 10, we have his pairing figure, and that is Zagaba Luke. And I think this is one of the best Luke Skywalker head sculpts we've had so far. It, it is the best one for me. Um, so much so that I've actually done two other figures and I've replaced them with heads <laughs> so I've got a Bespin Luke um, with this head and I have a Yavin Ceremony slash comic pack Luke um, with the yellow jacket with this head sculpt on it and uh, yeah I just really like this head sculpt they've just got the hair the messy sort of hair right from Empire um, and it sort of looks good for um, especially for toy photography with sort of action orientated scenes where his hair's not sitting, sitting perfectly. Um, and yeah, particularly like Dagobah, obviously like his outfit is, you know, dirty and they reused it again for that heir to the empire, uh, Jedi Luke. So yeah, definitely a great head sculpt. So he's number 10. Number nine, we have Dengar. Now, I think this one is just super impressive. Still, you know, being a few years old now even, it still holds up. This was very early on in the sort of photo reel process. And, uh, yeah, I think they've nailed it ever since. Pretty much. But uh, Dengar, probably a figure that is screaming for a re-release. Hopefully an archive release at some point. Because, yeah, he wasn't an easy one to get for a lot of people. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a fantastic head sculpt. It's uh, the pick of the bunch out of the bounty hunters for me. So I, I couldn't let this one sort of slip out. Let's zoom up a little bit more. It's really, really nicely done. And even just the, the extra, the separate material they've used for the sort of toilet paper wrapped around his head like it's it's separate to his head sculpt so they're able to really pack that detail in as opposed to trying to paint it in that border they were allowed able to sculpt it separately just gives it that extra extra layer of detail so Dengar he goes back doesn't matter if they're all going to fall over so coming in at number eight, I'm going with the re-release 
of Qui-Gon Jinn. I'm going to move those figures out of the way, otherwise it's going to, the camera's going to try and focus on them instead. So yeah, the re-release of Qui-Gon Jinn, a super, super good uh, update. The rest of the figure could have done with an update as well. It doesn't really hold up compared to some of the Jedi figures they've released in the last couple of years, but the fact that they, instead of just releasing a photo reel on the head sculpt, like they tried something different on Qui-Gon Jinn, and that was uh, doing the eyes separately and then putting a face sort of face over the top of it. And it seemed good at the time. Um, I was pretty, pretty excited about it when I reviewed it. Um, but in comparison to the photo reel, yeah, that, that pales in comparison. So the fact that I actually went to the drawing board and sort of re-sculpted re -sculpted this one was uh, a great move by Hasbro. And uh, yeah, it, it looks fantastic. It's, it's in the eyes, it's in the brows. It's just, yeah, definitely a great update. So that is 10, 9, 8, 7, and I've got 7 left. So I, I did have 11, whatever. <laughs> We're going with it anyway. These are just my top ones. Next up, we have Tarkin. Now this guy will be itching for a re-release at some point, I'm sure. Um, just due to fan demand, he's popping up in all the different properties. Um, it'd be cool to see him in the Rogue One series of Black Series. Um, if they were to do a re-release, that would be really cool, but I dare say they'd probably put him in Archive. But um, yeah, Peter Cushing had a really defined uh, face. You know, he had really strong cheekbones. And uh, yeah, they, they nailed it with this figure. Yeah, just absolutely nailed it. Like, from every angle too. But yeah, when you get some amazing lighting on this figure, boy does it pop. Let me check it out, that's fantastic. I almost gave it to uh, General Veers instead. Um, again, another great Imperial character, but, you know, Tarkin. He's, they did the hair. They didn't sort of... With, with Veers, they'd shape the head uh, to fit the helmet. Um, so, yeah, whereas this one, he's sculpted, obviously, to not wear a helmet. So, it's he just sort of scraped in over the top. So, But, yeah, fantastic. Next up... We have Jackson the Rabbit. Now, if you remember my review on this one, I'll <laughs> well before this came out, I was not interested. And uh, yeah, I came around. This figure has brought me around. Did a complete 180. Um, and yeah, this just the way they've sort of come at this head sculpt with the sort of realistic look. Um, Still, yeah, very much, very much an alien sort of looking rabbit. Um, yeah, I was very impressed, and uh, yeah, because he definitely fits in. I think certainly with within the comics. Um, yeah, just just a weird enough. You know, we've got shark heads, we've got fish heads. Why can't we have a rabbit head? <laughs> really, but yeah, I think. You know, the sculpting is fantastic through the ears, all the sort of fur that's around the head. Could probably even do with a, a very sort of light, sort of darker green wash over it just to sort of give that fur a little bit more depth. Um, but there's sort of, there is a little bit of that on the ears. But um, yeah, so he definitely gets a spot in my top 10 slash 11. So there's Jackson. So back to a human. We've got five to go. I'm giving it to Donald Glover's Lando Calrissian. And I think they just absolutely nailed this one. The eyebrow 
a sort of raised brow just it's awesome now it was really much a uh, toss up between this one and um, the skiff guard Lando which is another great figure and an awesome head sculpt um, same with the updated Empire Strikes Back Lando to be honest that was re that was really good too which shows that not even on those older figures the sculpt is there it just some of those early figures the paint detail just didn't work um, in comparison to what it has the last probably three years and yeah this is a uh, prime example of you know how good figures can be So we have a young Lando, portrayed by Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino. So we're going to go with another human, Count Dooku. And now, in my personal opinion, I think Hasbro's just nailed this one. I went and bought the SH Figure Arts one, and uh, you know, while it was good. Um, you know, Hasbro's come along and just knocked it out of the park. In comparison, the SH Figure Arts one came with uh, two different head sculpts, and uh, you know they're very, very slight in differences. But um, yeah, this one just absolutely knocks those two for six. Just that sort of depth in his eyes, that sort of stare. The beard. Just got that. It's got that really strong gaze. And goes really well with his uh, Hammer film compatriot, Mr. Peter Cushing. Of course, we've got Dracula and Van Helsing. So. Yeah, just a nice, nice coincidence that those two fit in it together. So yeah, Count Dooku gets it for third, fourth place. Coming in at number three, we have Zeb. Gara Zeb Aurelius. Now this one was, this one took a long time to come out. Um, it was long awaited and I always said that, you know, let them take their time with translating a cartoon character to something that's sort of real life. And, you know, obviously the work they did on Jedi Fallen Order with uh, Cal's master, Jaro Topol. And, um, yeah, they obviously found a sort of formula that fits this character in, in a live action sense. And uh, I think it turned out really well, really, really well. Um, I'd love to sort of see a bit more of a, a bit like the Jar Jar Binks figure that came out. They sort of gave him one head sculpt and it was kind of just a little bit stoic, a little bit plain. Um, this one, all right, this one's okay because he's got a little bit of a, um, you know, a bit of, a bit of a snarl there. But um, yeah, bit of bit, if he was showing some teeth, that would be really cool too. So I think that's that's the next step for Hasbro is uh, alternate head sculpts for some some of the characters, which would be great in like for the deluxe. But I don't really see them going there, sadly. But yeah, I th this whole figure is just absolutely fantastic. He's got the beard. He's got the mutton chops down the side. Bright green eyes. Yeah, just, just looking past the paint, just the sculpting work, you see the little lines on his cheeks, on his brow. Even the, the lines on his bottom lip there that's sort of pouting out. The ears. All these minute details that really just... The paint just enhances that. Just a fantastic one. So he's number three. Number two and number one to go. Number two, I'm actually tossing these up as I talk, but uh, I'm going to go with General Kenobi at number two. Uh, this is just top of the pops for me. This is just fantastic. 
human sculpting. It, it, it just looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi, looks like Ewan McGregor. Uh, the previous clone commander Cody from the Tartakovsky version um, came pretty damn close, but I think this one, they just, they've really perfected it with this one. And the other one sort of had a little bit too sort of the rosy cheeks and a few few extra details that it probably didn't need. They sort of really simplified it down with this one and uh, brought it back to its sort of basic bare elements. And um, yeah, just the pa paint apps. I believe the sculpts are the same, but um, yeah, the paint applications on this one vastly improved. And uh, yeah, for me, it's just, uh, yeah, absolute perfection. I really love the Anakin as well. The Clone Wars Anakin, I really like that one. But yeah, Obi-Wan just... You know, this this to me is like mini Hot Toys sort of quality. It's, it's really good. So last but not least, coming at number one. Um, yeah, this, this one is just marvellous. And we're going with Quill from The Mandalorian. Just a absolutely fantastically executed character um bringing him to life like he jumps off the screen that head sculpt is just absolutely superb the blue eyes the sort of moustache and again the mutton chops coming around There we go, just sort of dull the light. It is quite a bright, bright figure when the light's on it, but, um, you know, the head underneath, he's got the hair on the back. Just a really, really good sculpt, um, paint detail, just fantastic. And just, I love the character too. I think he was absolutely fantastic. And yeah, this head sculpt is just absolutely amazing. So with all that being said, that is my top 10 slash 11, 12, whatever it was. <laughs> um, Black Series head sculpts. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. Again, this is my top 10. This isn't anyone else's top 10 yours may differ I'd love to hear where yours differs any other characters that you would have thrown in as well I'd love to love to hear what you think down in the comments so please sound out give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I hope you did please subscribe if you're new to the channel That'd be greatly appreciated. I also have memberships available on my channel. You can check that out on the front page of my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, check out all the links to my social media and bits and pieces down in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Till my next video, may the force be with you. Always.